Hey, all right, all right, man. Hey, once again, here we are. Yes, sir. This is yes, Evan Layden with H Town Happy Hour. Derek Dio to Levy, H Town Happy Hour, best podcast in the world, baby. Number one podcast in the world, bro, bro. Let them know. And yes, we have our sir. very special guest for you today. We have Chef Tom Kananen. Yes. Come on. Yes, Tom, hello, Tom, hello. Tom. How you doing? So when you say chef, what do you mean, bro? Uh, chef Tom Kananen, chef partner at Soy Pinoy and chef owner of Hermes Restaurant, uh, of the upcoming Hermes Restaurant here in Houston, Texas. Okay. So what is Soy Pinoy? Soy Pinoy is my version of Filipino food, like done my way. Uh, you know, it's not, it's more, it's traditional, it's not traditional, you know, it's food that I like eating growing up and, you know, just, it's just like an, an, an analogy of everything that I like that's Filipino and non-Filipino. And, you know, for example, we have um, hot honey walnut shrimp. That's not, that's yeah. not Filipino. Yeah. But, but you I, just like shrimp. I love shrimp yeah. and I love hot honey <laughs> and I love hot honey. Yeah. And I, so I love hot honey and I love, I love walnut shrimp. So, yeah. You know, that's kind of like the kind of the stuff you'll see on a menu. But what overall, kind of what kind of food is going to be over at Hermes? That sounds interesting. So Hermes is going to be uh, 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 it's going to be mostly seafood. Yeah. And it's going to be the first Filipino seafood restaurant in the country. Interesting. Mm. You know, I mean, just like you know, just like Texas. You know, for the Filipinos, we love meats. Yeah. We love our pork. We love our beef. Our chicken so on and so forth and we also love our seafood and i feel like you know seafood is always kind of like the last thing filipinos always talk about i mean you know just just like the classics like the like the milk fish and like obviously we love shrimp crustaceans and whatnot but you know i for hermes i wanted to be like highlighting the best of of philippine seafood yeah why do you think nobody's done something like that before if seafood's so popular uh, because I think, you know, since we're in, t well, especially here in Texas, people love meat. Yeah. And, you know, when, yeah. they, when they hear, you know, seafood restaurant, they think, oh, man, like, you know, I want to go out for a steak. Yeah. 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 True. And, you know, and I feel like some, I feel like it's maybe like 50-50 that people here in Houston, you know, they want to see more seafood on a menu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's like an Asian restaurant. Yeah. Right. You right. Know, right. Like when they see that, they're just like, damn, like, you know. Like I, I, I didn't even care for it for any meat at all. Like I just wanted, like that uh, unique style seafood. Unique style seafood, like crab curry and like, like fish, like whole fried fish mm -hmm. and like crustacean seafood tower. Okay. Like even like like pasta with with shrimp and stuff like that. You know. Well, you know, and 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 one thing that I I think about when with what you just told me is because, we, you know, with, this is the Gulf Coast. Yeah. So there's a lot of traditional seafood yeah. type food around here no oh, yeah which is why something like this i think could have a unique niche yeah you know it could have a unique blend to it so you know uh let me ask you this bro how did you get into cooking how did you become a chef what steered you down that path so uh you know uh, you guys know that i'm you know i wasn't born in the u.s yeah. i was born in my in, in the philippines and uh came here when i was really young and prior to being born, my mom in the Philippines, she was uh, a PK, uh, a pastor's kid. Mm. A what kid? A pastor's, pastor's kid. kid. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, you know, my, my grandfather was a missionary. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he traveled all over the Philippines with my mom. And so my mom started picking up all this, like, different type of foods, different uh, dishes all over the Philippines. Like, over these, you know, in the Philippines, that's over 7,000 islands. Yeah. So she's like, you know, like picking up things, like and, and writing it all in, like, sorts in a book. of unique secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's writing down recipes. Absolutely. And um, and so uh, you know, ever since I, ever since I was born, man, like my mom, she had a garden. She cooked all oh, the time. Wow. Like you know, it was she never. There was never like a time that she never cooked for us. Yeah, and she was growing know? though on food sometimes yeah. too. Yeah, and she raised seven kids. Damn, bro. And I'm number you six. Got six out of seven. siblings. Uh, yeah, I have wow, six siblings. Yeah, six out of and seven. yeah, I'm I'm the youngest boy in my family. So wow. did she, so did she cook everything like like from her own garden? Was a lot, was that how the majority of the food was? Yeah, prepared for y'all. Yeah, you know she had she had she grew like squash, eggplant, um, um, strawberries, herbs. But yeah. then if, if if there was like things that that she couldn't uh, grow, she would go to the to the Latin market. You know, like the, the one that one Latin market that has everything. Yep, you're buying yep, all yep. that produce. You're like, damn. Like they have like, 
they have like guava. Like, like yeah. what the fuck do y'all get guava? <laughs> <laughs> and my mom was my mom was, was utilizing all that stuff, and she used everything. Yeah. And, she had, and the reason why is because she had to feed seven kids. Yeah. Right. So there was nothing that was gonna be un. Utilized. No scraps. Right, you right, see our right. carrots? We, we, yeah. need, we need peel carrots. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. You know? And you take potatoes. the tops and replant them in the garden and we grow more. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, like eggshells, my mom used, uh, she used that for mulch. Hmm. She had her own little um, bin where she, uh, she, what do you call it? What's the word? I'm looking, uh, the, the, things that, the thing that y'all don't do here in Houston is... Uh, recycle. No, but for, uh, for compost. S- compost. Composting. <laughs> See, even I forgot. We do, we do recycle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, what no. are you talking about? Hey. You motherfuckers <laughs> out here do not <laughs> compost, compost at here. all. At post. Only we here. Compost at post. Only here. Oh, by the way, y'all, shameless plug. If y'all didn't know, change the scenery, guys, for the H Town Happy Hour podcast. Best We're here at view Post Houston. in the city. We hope. We understand the weather is out here. It might Woo. be a little windy, but you know what? We figured we'd share this view with y'all and try something new. So bear with us as yeah. we try this. We're here on the rooftop of Post Houston. Hey, best, best, best in view the city, in Houston right hey, now. Hey, we went where the wind blew us, and it was yeah. at the t- rooftop yes, of the most electrifying <laughs> of the most electrifying <laughs> building in, in the, the city, <laughs> if not the state. Times Magazine, one of the coolest places <laughs> of all time. Downtown hey. Houston, number one event space of all time and did, cultural did, campus did, and hub did, to be a part it, it, of post Houston. It, its name is Skylon is what y'all are seeing right now and uh, one of the most <laughs> important and coolest things about post is it's got 32 restaurants down in the food hall one of them being soy panoy soy panoy which is some of the best Filipino food I've ever tried dude and you. uh you know panoy is, is 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 basically like Philippine, Filipino. Filipino, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in that translation, yeah. So, for so sure. tell us a little bit more about the creation of soy panoy. Yeah, how did this come about? You know, I'm I'm the kind of guy that likes to um, always keep recipes. Uh, my mom was the same way, and like, you know, continuing from my story with my mom, like she always wrote everything down, and uh, back in 2015, she was diagnosed with cancer and she passed oh, away. Man. Damn, bro. Damn. So she left so sorry, all dude. of her, oh, thank you, man. Hell yeah. She left all of her recipes for me. Wow. And you know, my mom had this- What a gift. Mo- yeah, my mom had this really beautiful handwriting and she wrote everything. Like, you know, all my favorite dishes, like from from like, from like chicken cacciatore to like chicken adobo to uh, pasta with cream and uh, with cream and mushrooms. You know, she wrote everything down, man. Damn. And so, I took mm. everything, I took all of her recipes, and I opened Bad Saint in 2016 as head chef. And within those five years of being at Bad Saint, mm. we won an a- we, we won accolades yeah. like once every month, I'd wow. say. From wow. different from different publications, from like from like the the Michelin guy to Pete Wells to Bon Appetit to Food and Wine, GQ, Esquire, yep. Eater, 38. Damn. Um, uh, what else, man? Um, you know, we've gotten recognition from like Asia's top 50, yeah, best top 50 restaurants. Plus, you know, I, I don't think you named one of the most prestigious like chef or, or, or cooking like awards out there that you won, yeah. And That's you know, the, uh, James Beard, yeah. And James Beard was my last one, yeah. Your James Beard award winning yeah. chef, bro. first Filipino to win a James Beard for Damn. Filipino food, damn. Damn. You yeah, know, I was trying real. to write down all the awards you were naming, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I couldn't write them all down. So, I mean, hey, you I'm, know, I just want to congratulate uh, you yeah. on the rap sheet, yeah. on the report card yeah. you just pulled up yeah. for the uh, on camera. I, I think that uh, that's quite the resume, my friend. Yeah. And, and, and I think uh, I think I could say like, uh, you, your mom's proud of you, bro. I know, man. You know, I, I still feel like every time I'm back there cooking, she's behind me, yeah. like, yelling at me. Chip you on your shoulder. <laughs> Chip it's good, yeah, though. Like, it like keeps you me, fucking like, on your toes. <laughs> like smacking you on the... Yeah, exactly. No, 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 You put too much salt. Now you ruined it. Now you ruined it. Yeah. You know, and... You know, if you want me, if you want me to, I would list, I would tell, I would tell you all my credibility. I'll give you my credibility again, and I mean, I don't, I don't mind. You know, I, and I love mentioning like what I've, what I've accomplished because yeah. I earned it. Absolutely, you did. I deserved Bro. it. They you did. You know, like it, it took my, it took me, like as a leader, to like guide people in my kitchen, guide there you cooks, go. and you know, and I, and I made a promise to, all, I always make a promise to my cooks, like I will make sure that you learn something within a year here. Like you will not leave. Without knowing, you know, without knowing more than you came. Exactly. Yeah. Talk about some of the disciplines that you had to do 
in your own life in order for you to achieve where you are right now? What are some of the things that you had to say, no more of this, I got to take this in this direction? Yeah. Yeah, talk about some of the, uh, like, sacrifices and discipline for goods. You know, the one thing I've always learned was, like, you know, as a line cook, that you have to, uh, like, like, you have to, like, learn how to bend, bend so you won't break. Oof. Let me write Ooh. that down. Yeah. <laughs> bend so you don't break. I like yeah. that, bro. What do you mean by that? What do you mean bend? Like you know, when when the pressure gets real, when it, when the pressure gets really tough somewhere, not just any, not, not just in the kitchen, but like in, in life in general. Yeah. You have to learn how to take the heat. Yeah. If you, you know, can handle like, the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, and and you know what else? On top of that, uh, with the bend but don't break, you know that's why it's good to have. And I think what this is also applicable to is if you have a, a, a the narrow path plan, you're you can. As long as you're on that path, you can yeah. bend and go in and out. You can kind of ebb and flow yeah. between yeah. Uh, between what is, uh, you know, you got, what, what's the directional course for for what's the next breath. You, you got to yeah. be fluid. You got to maneuver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Bruce Lee said, uh, "Be fluid like, like water. water." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, like water. That's what we're drinking. Sponsored hey. by H Town Happy Hour. Come on, Salute. now. Salute, hey, and guys. also, Salute. I wanna uh, I wanna take a quick minute to thank our sponsors, H Town Happy Hour. <laughs> <laughs> and Soy Pinoy. <laughs> and Soy Pinoy. And Joe. And Joe. And Joe. Joe K. Yeah, Joe. Joe. Thank Big you, dog Joe. on the ones and twos, hey, man. Actually, before we get too hey, deep I, in. I think it's about time. Go ahead, tell it, Derek. No, you got it. Well, hey, Derek, and we'd like to hear from the source. All right. <laughs> uh, hey, we're shot gonna be there, fellas. Tom, no, no, no. Tom, we got you a gift. Oh, no way. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah, no, you guys, no. you guys are already my gifts. No, for, for having me here. No. For having me here. <laughs> Tom, Come on welcome, now. this is a, a welcome to Texas gift. Oh my this gosh. Is God. Oh, little, little, little does the audience know. Yes. I, I've been here for only two years, <laughs> okay, and so far, okay. I met some really incredible people like these guys. So I'm, a, I'm gonna kind of show y'all how you do this. This oh is called a shoddy. And this is what, you know, something we like to do with all of our guests starting the today. Heck? This is the first time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. you just I, I hold haven't this. done this since college. So, uh, hold this. Yeah, well, H-Town well, 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 Happy Hour, baby. Happy hour. We're doing it again the right uh, way. Do it back. again. Do it again. Uh, make sure to get hey, away from the electronics. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's why I said right, Everyone take a step back. back. One time. One time for the one time. There you go. <laughs> all right, guys. Hey. All right. Hey. 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 Cheers. Hey, man. Cheers. Solid 2024, Solid 2024. Solid 2024. Yes, sir. Much hey, success. Kicking ass and taking names. Yes, sir. Let's on get rooftop, it. baby. Right. Champ is here. Champ is here. I think I won. It, no. Uh, Number one. Joe. You, 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 Who won? Derek won. Thank you, Joe. Y'all can't it's see It's on camera. It. It's on camera, so we'll check the facts <laughs> He's later. He's still drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to H-Town Happy Hour, bro. H-Town. This was a glass of wine. <laughs> I, 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 Chuck it down faster than you guys. Beer yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, if it's I, wine. I, I what if it was wine. Merlot or Pinot Grigio? <laughs> 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 I'll take a oh, Chardonnay, it's Dom. pronounces Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get that right, Evan, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Pin, don't edit that, Pinot please. Grigio. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. All right, all right. Back to the grind. Back to the grind. Hey, hey, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Asia on Happy Hour, for that. And Soy Pinot. Yeah, that was beautiful. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, so when did you come to the States? How old were Came you? Came here in the States in 86, yeah. uh, moved to Maryland, uh, PG County. Yeah. Uh, it's where Dave Chappelle's from, Wale, the rapper. Mm -hmm. uh, Wale, he was over here. Room. He was over here. Yeah. For yep. Chopped and Stewed yep. Fest. Damn. Yep. Yeah, yep, yep. He was here. Uh, Maya Harrison, Maya, the, the R&B singer. Yep. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, she's, from, she's from Maryland, too. Uh, graduated the same year as my brother did. Um, How'd yeah. they have good crab in Maryland? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm a Maryland boy, so, uh, you know, I'm He's like... He's got crabs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> no, 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 hey, no, no. Like you cook crabs. Yeah, 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 you cook crabs, bro. Yeah, the crabs, the Maryland, Maryland Part of the reason crab. why, yeah. part of the reason why I want to open a seafood restaurant. Hermes, you know what I mean, the crabs. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I see. I, I see now that Houston is trying to put crab cakes on a pedestal here. I see yeah. some restaurants here putting little flowers on a crab cake. I'm like, what the hell is going on, yeah. here, guys? It's garnished to the next level. Yeah, it's a fucking crab cake. Make, yeah, you know, Phillips. You know, it's from Maryland. You know, yeah. And like, they make the the best crab cakes if it's like on a on a on a corporate level, but. Just, but don't put don't put 
Michael Green's on him, please. <laughs> no, no, do no. This and boy, do this Baron and Boy. What about a lemon sliced garnish? That's that's great. That's classic. That's fine. That's okay. Yeah, that's classic. I, I'll tell you though that that's that says something about just your like intuition and, and like observation, right? You see like oh shit, <laughs> things are moving this way yeah. with uh, like seafood and stuff, and people are starting to kind of elevate. Yeah. It here in Houston, yeah. and so you're like, hey, let me let me catch this wave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that props to you, bro. I agree. And like you know, you, know, you have restaurants like Uchi, Cata yep. Robata. There's a lot of Jap. Oh, Cata Robata, Neo. Neo is actually my favorite restaurant here in yeah. Houston. Those guys, they fucking kill it every yeah. single time I go there. They slay the kitchen. They slay and just cutting tuna and wow. making maki rolls, like the whole the whole nine yards, man. It's amazing. Mm. If you haven't been to Neo, Neo yet, you should do yourself a favor and grab a ticket. It's pricey, but yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's worth, worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, you know, you have, like, seafood here. Like I said, I mean, people, there's a lot of people who work at the medical center. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in Rice Village who are, you know, these people are, like, are like health freaks. And and I noticed that, like, you know. Well, they work in a hospital. They yeah. see what not taking care of your health looks like. Exactly. Right, right. They exactly. see what not taking care of yeah. health looks like. Yeah. And, you know, you can't go wrong with seafood. Like, you mm -hmm. know, it's, there's a lot of people here with money <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know there, if, if, there yeah and this is why i love houston because i, I thought at, 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 um, prior to moving here i was like uh am i gonna open like a middle am i, am I how am i gonna open a hermes here yeah but then i realized like you know people will pay for good quality they so will. let me ask you this yeah. has hermes been on your mind for a long time <sighs> For more than six years, man. Damn. Was it on your mind longer than Soy Panoy? Has this been one of oh, those? Yeah. This has been Way one of those longer. things that's been deep down, huh? Deep down, man. Wow. And I'm, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm trying to like bring it out, but uh, you know, it's not easy opening restaurants, guys. It's, it's not. It's not, and you know, especially around this time and finding people you can trust. Uh, finding, you know, even finding an investor is hard. It's, it's hard because like they don't want to be put in that risk yeah. of like right. losing. Well, and, and and honestly, man, I mean, you know, you don't want to have. You don't want to have someone that's going to be in there and trying to, like, you know, take advantage of you. No. You know, and especially whenever you're trying to, like, you're like, hey, man, I'm trying to start something big here. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a plan to go by. And, yeah, no, 100%, I'm sure it is. But how many how many have you started? You said Soy Panoy, and then there was a well, whole... Well, Hermes is He already went through his whole rap sheet. No, you, don't let well, me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like some people only focus on quitting, and I've never, like, I've never really... Mm. I, I don't focus on that, man. I'm not, yeah. the, kind of, the, the kind of, like, mentality I have is, like, I'm a worker, man. Yeah. I like being in the kitchen. Yeah. Like, fuck being on television. You know, I've, 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 I've been asked to be on Top Chef, to be on Chopped, but I was denied the invitation because uh that's not who i am you know yeah. what i want to be is a chef yeah. i want to be in my kitchen i just want to be in my one kitchen and cook there until you know and then just keep my head just put my head down and cook with my team yeah. and, and 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 take care of my team and show them like this is, this is yeah this is the, this is how we, we run a restaurant you'll this be blessed is. by god for that yeah and uh and that, that was kind of that was the mentality my dad was always like you know hammering down on me like you know like just work hard it's crazy. You know? It's crazy. Well, you, you I, have that immigrant mentality. I, 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 uh, my, my father was in the military, right? Yeah. So he, I, I, similar to you, bro, I lost my father back in probably about around the same time, a little bit later. But, yeah. uh, anyways, um, something he installed in my head was this feeling of I will never let someone think they work harder than me. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. just work harder than everyone, <laughs> yeah. and if someone's working hard, I'm gonna work harder. Yeah, <laughs> All right. my principal was this always motherfucker. <laughs> man, I can't tell you how many times we've been working on these motherfucking events that we throw on the weekends at uh, Post Houston on the second floor, uh, H Town Market. That we've been up in the office until roughly what 12, 1 but in the morning. That has nothing to do with that. That's just getting work done. No, I know, but talking about working hard. Yeah, can I not talk about working hard? You can. That's what I'm talking about. No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put it in some You're working, hard, you, too. Uh, hey, you're working hey, hard too with those. Hey, well, hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. That's what I said. I've been in the office there also. Yes. I was there also. <laughs> but it's about working hard in general on so, everything. Yeah. yeah. That Props to your father. Yeah. Props to your mother as yeah. well for installing these kind of. And, and, and that's the thing is like, right? That is, I feel like, what a, a parent's goal is. A parent's yeah. objective in life yeah. is to leave their kids off better than they were. And so for them installing these different kind of ethics and morals yeah. into you is, is a beautiful thing, bro. It honestly gives me chills. Yeah, and, uh, you know, your parents are trying to set you up with the right tools in life. Yeah. The, those principles I've always 
stayed with and look where I am today. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, 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 I still have it. I still have it in me to like open a restaurant. I'm 40, I'm turning 41 this year. Damn. And I can't wait to open a restaurant. I, I can't I was wait <laughs> to open Hermes. And hey, hey, isn't it, bust isn't my ass isn't it, isn't it funny? Yes. Isn't it funny? How like whenever we're young, we don't know why the hell their parents are doing what they're doing to us. Yeah. We don't understand, don't understand it then. It, and then once you hit, once once you get a little bit older, you go, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, yep. I, yeah. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Thank you. And especially especially when you lose someone you love, yes, it hits you yes. harder. Yes. And it goes back to exactly what you said: is if it, it makes you feel like they're always over your shoulder. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. years, bro, I chased this thing where, yeah. like, yo, one day my dad's gonna be proud. Yeah. One day my dad's yeah. gonna see me, and like, I know I have accomplished that. Much like I, I feel you have accomplished that, yeah. bro. I agree. But it's like it's a beautiful thing too to be able to look back and even reference what you talking about, bro. Is like, like have have understood. What those things your parents were teaching you? Yeah, Derek, I've seen nothing but you run around food hall. <laughs> Dude, you run around so much. This guy is like sweating bullets, <laughs> trying to get trying to get his job done the right way. And, and you know, and everyone looks up to Derek at the food. Everyone loves you because they know you're Bro, you're, you're, that you're means busting. A lie because everyone busting tells me ass. I don't work hard enough. <laughs> well, you know, it's I see it. I'm there all the time, and I, you. I, I, you hey, know, hey. M whether you notice me or not, sometimes I see you. <laughs> I see Derek walk by Soy Pinoy all the time. He never looks at this. Never looks no, at me. No, I used to not. I'm like, hey, I Derek. used to I'm not. Like, hey, Derek. He's, He's lying. lying. He's lying. He's like this. Over the past four months, I have made sure to stop and talk to Tom. Over the past four yeah. months, I have made sure yeah. to talk to you, bro. You don't know how I like important you. it is like for me to see you I know. on a daily. You know, yeah, it makes my yeah. it makes my day so much better to Be see cool. you run around. Because, I, you know, because when I see you running out, it means that something big is coming, like a big project. Cool. Bro. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh cool. shit, like what's happening at the post today? <laughs> oh, I see Derek running around. Oh, it's Chinese New Year. Yeah. Like, you know, he's getting the drag. You know, the dragon dance. Like, dude, that's yeah. fucking on, insane, bro. It's insane. Shoulder to shoulder. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey uh, let me ask you this. How many events are there this month for Post? 42. 42, 42 oh events. Hey, hey, Derek, I think you could do better. We yeah. could do 60, guys. We should uh, do hey, 60. Do 100. Do 100. Dude. Frank would love this. Frank would love yeah, this. You would love it very Frank, much. Frank would love this. <laughs> No, That's no, no, no. Hey, bro, hey, hey, uh, hey, 100%, yeah. man. I mean, like, you know, I've seen this man r run around all this place, this whole place, man. Yeah. I mean, he treats this thing like it's his baby. Hey, I'll tell you, man. It's also a team effort. It's a team effort, gentlemen. Yeah. Evan, you're there with me on, no. on every H-Town happy hour event. Yeah. Never no call, no show or nothing. Talent, recognize the talent. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes. 100%, yes. man. 100%. Yes. And I see you back there, bro, whether you're playing cashier or head chef, like yeah. you play every role too, bro. Yeah. Like I see that. You know, so there's respect to that. For me, it's like I see a lot of people who are first like it, like introduced to Filipino food, and you know, as a chef, as a Filipino, you know, it's my it's my job to educate them what Filipino food is, and you know, you can't, you know, and and, and <laughs> I'll tell you this right now, it's hard to sell Filipino food at the food hall because. You know, we're we're surrounded by tacos and burgers people, and uh, things people already understand. Yeah, and and and, and, and the most I, I think the most unique restaurant we have at the post is Chopping Block. You know, yeah, West African food. Sure. That's why it's, and the way it's very how popular. Opie sells his, yeah. I mean, how he sells his food, man. Yeah. His story is so incredible, right? right? And that's his one baby, man. His one true baby, and he's done. He's he's does he does nothing but make sure that Chopping Block and his staff are amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, Megan. Uh, you know, she's like uh, Nova, uh, Megan and Nova, man. They're incredible people who work for Opie, and they're always there all the time, like making sure that his baby's running well. Yeah. You know? Hey, so let me ask you this. <clears throat> you know, we're talking about all these restaurants and everything that you have. Go ahead and talk about your leap of faith that you made whenever you started your first restaurant. Leap of faith is... Um, Leap or of down faith. your journey. Leap of faith you made. That moment of truth. That leap of faith Whenever you was, realize that, yeah, it was going to happen. Uh, you know, it's like when I, is is when I started complaining too much about, Damn. about my industry, and to the point where I need to put myself to the test and see uh, how how like uh, see how how much I can, how much I can take to be accountable for wow. for for a restaurant because yeah. you know I, I've like you know I'm being like the little brother in my family. 
you know, I've always seen my brothers make mistakes, my sisters make my, my parents, you know. I've, I've always, like, pointed fingers. Oh, yeah, you know, the reason why your restaurant is failing is because... X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. But, you know, I have never been put on that spotlight. Mm. And so when I open Hermes, I want to be the one to be accountable for everything that happens. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Everything's yeah. on you. 100% so accountability. 100% yeah. ownership. Yeah. You know what? Hey, and you know what? That's how you take the power out of someone trying to accuse you of something is if you take a 100% ownership of it, yeah. then it's like, no. Yeah. I and, did it. Yep. And I'm 100%. The, I'm the kind of guy, I'm the kind of man that will say, yeah, you know what? It was my fault. Yes. Yeah. And I will try to find a way to fix it. There's so much power in that, bro. Yeah. Like, a lot of people will try to pass the, the blame, but, like, no. if you just, if you, if, if, for me, right, I'll even take the blame for my team members. Like, right? I'll even fucking <laughs> succumb to that because there's so much power in 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 owning up to something yeah. and there's also looking out for someone else right like if if one of my team members forgot this right we're a team mm -hmm. so we forgot this yeah. it isn't it isn't about her it isn't about him it's like it's we the team did this the yeah, team yeah. the team did the this the team did this no we let, it's right. like it's like playing call of duty <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, you know we, we all get on as a as a co-op a co-op platoon yeah and one person doesn't listen to the other guy it's your fault yeah. but then but then it's, i'm sorry it's the whole team's fault yeah, yeah. right because he let it happen yeah right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well even you should have said it in, oh, sorry guys. No, no 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 i was gonna say okay even today in my classic in in school in class we have a group project yeah we have five people in our group as the teacher's talking about something, asking us to look something up, the guy behind me in my group is lit watching videos on engines. And I'm like, hey, get focus up. Yeah. Get in tune get into it. to what she's talking about. Wake the fuck up. Yeah. And, and and it's very true. It's like that's the leadership you need on a team is being like, hey, cut the shit. Yeah. Get focused on what we're doing. Yeah. Quit playing around. And I, I, I like what you, when you said that because when I had when I had my restaurant in DC, Bad Saint, we had a um, we had a reserv we, we, had, we were booked for three months. Damn. Every night felt like a Friday, Saturday night. That's a good problem to have. <laughs> and like sometimes my staff would come on a Monday and I would go, hey guys, wake the fuck up. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday doesn't mean shit. Yeah. Every day it feels like a Friday here. So cook, your, cook this damn food, make sure it's, it's great, taste your food, let me see it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if I see any mistakes, I'm gonna send it back. And I, you know, I was I was a true maniac for that, for sending stuff back. It's now scary. let me ask you this: Why are chefs so maniacal when it comes <laughs> to just how the kitchen works? It's kind of like, here, chef, I made the cheeseburger. No, it's a high you made a fucking bro. hot platter of garbage. It's nothing. <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah, what? What is this? Why are they? So, why well, are they like this? What is it? You no, know, it's. You no, know, for me, it's like you know, I come from like a like an old school mentality. I've been cooking since like the '90s, man. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason behind that, the way how chefs act that way, because, you know, when you finally get to that rank, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, you know, it's like trial and error, right? Like, you know, you, you worked as a, you worked as a line cook. If, if someone doesn't tell you this is wrong, then how, how are you going to get grow? to the next how level? How are you going to learn? Right. And, yes. then, and then, you know, and no one's perfect. You're going to make mistakes. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Twice, three for times, sure. four times, five times. So what's the best way for me to tell you, hey, wake up. Right. Wake the fuck up. Like, you know, right. like you're working in my kitchen. Like one of the most important. Take it serious because yeah, I take, take it, serious. it serious. Yeah. And, you know, you're working, you're, wor you're working in one of the most important restaurants in the country. Mm. I need you to take your job more serious. Yeah. And right. listen Absolutely. and wake the fuck up. And if I send him back, I know. And when I, when I look at it, I taste it. I send him back. You better, you better, you know, make sure. You, you I'm talking know. for real. I'm, I'm serious real. right now. Yeah. And I, I still feel that way. You know, yeah. and, and, you know, I. Uh, I feel like I've been doing it a little less now because you know Houston's not you know in Houston, you know. We, we <laughs> talk different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what you want to say, bro? Listen, cooking, cooking in the East Coast. You know, we have a lot of you know, like you know, it's it's the train, the training there is you know the the practice of working in the kitchen there is so much difficult, and and, and respectfully because like you know. Um, you know, in Texas, you know, you have great restaurants here too. I mean, La Jardinier, you have Nancy's Hustle, yeah. uh, Rosie Cannonball. Uh, you have, um, you know, Deep, just yeah. to, just to name a few. Yeah. Um, and those guys, they know how to they know how to damn cook, man. For sure. And then you have your barbecue spots. You know, so where it's like it's a, it's the same thing back to back. Yeah. And you know, and, and they stick with that one recipe for like 50 years. Yeah. And you know, if you can't handle it, then obviously they're gonna say, hey, man, 
great having you here. We're gonna we're gonna go find someone else, respectfully. But when you work at a at a top tier restaurant like that, you know, like 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 I'm sure you know there are chefs like Le Jardinier in here in Houston or like a French restaurant that does like immaculate food. You know, yeah. you have a chef back there saying this is wrong. Why did yeah. you, why, why did you do it this Absolutely. way? Absolutely. Which which it's did accountability, I, who, who, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, There's accountability. nothing wrong with who that. Who taught you? Like they would say, like who 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 showed you this? It wasn't me. Yeah. Like what's the point? Right. You know, and the one quote I got from my old chef was like, "What's the point of me showing you if you're not if you're not going to do it the same way yeah. that I did? If you ain't gonna listen, if you ain't gonna listen, right? You know, and I tried to like you know add an extra little garnish on the on the, on the plate. He said, "No, yeah. I didn't show you that." Yeah. Wow. No. That's tricky. Yeah. And I was like, "Damn." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I that. You were you were like I was yeah. trying to go above and beyond, he, yeah, and he yeah, was yeah. said, "Too much." He, yeah. He added the kale to the salmon. <laughs> no, he, I added the microgreens. <laughs> microgreens. Yeah, which, which, you, microgreens. Which you guys love here so much. <laughs> it only requires a one lemon. <laughs> you know, I just want to see. I just want to see a lemon slice. You know, <laughs> you know, a garnish. No, but, a hey, garnish. You cut a lemon slice into a flower. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, a lemon slice for me makes more. It seems more practical than a piece of yeah. bitter, right. non-flavored little piece of green shit that's on a, that's on my plate. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I. I you know, I, I just think, um, you know, like I, I come from a, a from like a, like I used to work with Jose Andres. Yeah. Like all of his chefs, cooks, man, they're all just like, you know, like cutthroat. Yeah. And within a year, I learned so much. Damn. And they kept me. They said, hey, yeah. we want to keep you here because, you know, we think what you're doing, I th- I th- you know, we think you get it. Yeah. It's like artists. It's, you know, it's like an right, artist. For sure. Yeah, you know, you know like, like how, did, how, how far did these people have to go to get to where they are today? Exactly. And most you know? super successful people, they, and, 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 and not just that, most like creative geniuses, yeah. they are very, uh, yes, they're very fluid, like we talked about, but at things, they're very rigid. Yeah. Like, there are things that you do not bend on. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Like this garnish for this dish, there's a reason right, we right, do right, this. Right, 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 right. Right? I think that's, in, that's, and it goes back to life in general, bro. It's knowing when to be flexible and knowing when, when to, to stay s- firm. S- stay firm, stand yeah. your ground. Yeah. Right? And, and it, it could be whether you're, 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 you're in the chef industry or the restaurant industry, yeah. it could be the events industry, mm. it could be, it's like, I think it's it's about finding that happy balance between the two. Yeah. And it's also it's a balancing act. Yes. You know, because I mean it's like, you know, sometimes sometimes it's okay to mend, sometimes it's okay to stand firm. Right. But you but you can't abuse the power if you have it. No. And that's yeah. the thing. And that's the thing I never did. I never picked on people. Right. There you go. You know, I did it because I wanted them to understand my vision. Because this is my restaurant, my vision, and mm-hmm. you're here. To help me bring my vision to life, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, yeah. it's not about you, it's about me. Well, <laughs> it's about me. Listen, it's about me. Talk your shit, bro. Yeah, it's about me and the guest. Yes, because yes. they That's they came really here true. for me, not for you. Right, yeah. right, yeah. you know. Well, and also, on or, that, or let me just say this: they came for me, but they also came for my team. Yes, yeah. but well, yeah. And, and and so what I was gonna say on that was you pouring into your team. Is only going to make your restaurant better if you're giving them all of your insights, your information, your tips, yeah. your tricks. It's only going to make them a better individual yeah. to uh, yeah. to do experience. to do the to do the bidding for experience. the experience. Yeah, because you know these days people do people even care about that anymore? The experience. experience? Well, honestly, I think they do, bro. Honestly, oh, no, they just there for the paycheck. Well, I think because you know a lot of people. It's either you're poor or you have money now, right. okay? Well, I so was poor, the, too. No, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. So, it, you know that happy balance we were talking about? Yeah. The wealthy, sometimes it skips a generation, okay? Mm-hmm. The poor, sometimes that's the generation that it's on. Because that poor struggle, that poor, I got to get it, that real yeah. hunger. Yeah. You felt real hunger before? Yeah. What did it make you do? It made you get up and go get something. Right. You had to go get it. You had to go get what your goal was. Right. What's your goal? To find something to move forward so so what i say with that is it's almost a uh, a dual-sided sword because you have that hunger it's which is a driving factor for some yeah and some for the people that have it it kind of slows them down but on that same accord both people want to have the experience of high class they want to have uh, a classy experience they want to be able to they don't want the norm which is why i think that hermes restaurant is going to be a good idea because yeah. it's filipino seafood yeah by the way um the reason why it's called hermes is that is that Hermes? Yeah, non non affi- affiliated with the uh, it's Hermes uh, with the clothing brand. Mm-hmm. Um, so my mom, her name is Herminia. 
Oh, wow. Beautiful. And, and it's short Beautiful. for Hermes. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, you know, Hermes apostrophe Hermes. S. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, like, you know, it's, it's my, you know, yeah, the restaurant's dedicated to, to my mom. You know, it's all to my Beautiful. mom. And, uh, you know, just, you know, I, I, you know, I feel like I owe her everything because she's the one that got me into uh, cooking. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. She gave you the recipes. Bro, yeah. what, what more could she have left you with in this book? To yeah. like teach you things, dog. Like that's beautiful. Hey, and you know what? Yeah. You know what? I have. Do you feel like it keeps you close to your mom? Yeah, I think so, man. Because um, I really love my mom, man. I, I was her favorite. Uh, sorry, 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 yeah, fam. Yeah, the other, other, <laughs> sorry, other fam. Six, well, mom, mom, mom loved me the most. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, it's not a- sorry. <laughs> So hey, it's okay with being the special one, bro. Yeah, it's all right, right man. It's you know, my right. mom was the one that really like hammered me like these recipes because you know because I'm I was the only uh, out of uh, out of all the seven kids she had, I was the only one that chose culinary. Wow. It was either be a mechanic or get into cooking, and you know I was like okay, okay I was very I was really young okay. Uh, when I was young, I was thinking, what would get me the most girls? Yeah. 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 Let me yeah. Hey, bro. You don't know how much has inspired me you know, about women. <laughs> like, women are one of my driving factors. Yeah, so. I'm girl crazy. I, I was, yeah, I'm sorry. I was sure, girl bro. crazy. Yeah. I was girl crazy. Girl you know, crazy. like, you know, you're, once, young, once. you're a young man, and, you know, you're like, you're like this Asian kid that goes to a, to a school that's majority black and Hispanic. And they look at, they look at this Filipino kid like, oh, yeah, he's Chinese. He's unattractive. You know, I would never date an Asian person. And I was like, God, like, you know, every, every time you see, like, you a, a beautiful woman. Time. Wait till you try yeah. this honey chicken. <laughs> 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 this walnut. Oh, no, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the hot and honey shrimp, yeah. baby. I love yeah. you know, dude. It's like, you know, talking to a girl was like, I was, it felt like eating the forbidden fruit for me, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 And. And then as I got older, I went to I went to culinary school. That's when I that's when I started meeting people. You know, like same people like people like me, or Asian, uh, and then you know women black black girls dig, like dig Asian guys. White women dig Asian guys. Spanish dig Asian. I was like, wow, this is this, this is, is all good. new to me. <laughs> yeah, this is good. I like it, man. you know. So uh, you know, and you know, just and they, when I, when they found out I was cooking, they were like, oh wow, that's even. That's even cool. That's even cooler. Like, so, so talk about the kind of team that you have around you that's been able to help you. Wait, wait, talk- wait. Before we hop into that, I want to kind of dig back in on something a comment he made earlier, bro. Cool, cool. You, 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 you were kind of talking about like, do, do, do people even work for experience anymore, and 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 or do they just work for a paycheck? Um, I feel like that this is a, actually a very relevant yeah. and. Uh, uh, learning moment because yeah. i guarantee you bro you you're correct in that that people don't work for experience anymore nowadays yeah but with that the ones that do are the going to be the overachievers yeah the ones that are willing to make that sacrifice and it's it's just like you paul right yeah. paul went and worked for free like for free yeah. to learn his craft right right mm-hmm. and so I feel like even me, like something I always preach to people, and this is just for y'all, right? Like, work for experience when you're young, yep. when you still have the time to, when you don't have a family, when you don't yeah. have a bunch of debt. When yeah. You- I, I feel like parents today who raise with Gen Z kids, I don't think they want to, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, share Discipline. that. They don't want to share that with their kids anymore. Right. They you know, don't. and well, you know, don't. and I don't blame them because, you know, and this is the reason why Gen Z is the way it is. I feel like because like I feel like um, like uh, parents like to coddle the kids a lot more now. No, you you're worth. No, no you're worth. No, yeah. and, and also you're not allowed to discipline them, or they cry yeah. and they scream, yeah. and it's abuse and it's all this bad stuff. Did you see that New York Times that New York Times uh, um, article? Which, Which one? one? It's, it was about the headline was. Um, uh, Gen Z kids are taking their parents to their job interviews. Wow, insane. You want to know why they don't know how to communicate anymore? Yeah, and also the parents are there to kind of like coach them. 
<laughs> it's like you know have you, have you seen that uh, Step Brothers uh, movie yeah. where like Wolf, well you know yeah. he's like behind <laughs> Will Ferrell yeah, 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 <laughs> he's yeah, like yeah. I, I imagine like that's like the interview like uh, the parents are behind a kid and they're just like saying no 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 don't say that oh like, you know but, but that's like, just it bro like how much my, like how much my son how much is my son making here oh no he should be making more <laughs> I, I, I imagine he's that. a very special boy he's a very so special boy <laughs> yeah. yeah that's just it bro it's, it's sometimes you gotta you gotta be willing to put your your head down like all right some i always try to install and anybody i work with or any of my team teammates or anything is don't don't put in don't work for what you're paid work for what you want to be paid yeah right like and I know that's tough pill to swallow, but if you, f and you may not every time find the right person that is gonna recognize your worth. Yeah. And then you move on. I was on. gonna say. Then you move on. Our, our version was like, our version was, you have to show your worth in order to get paid exactly. as much. Yes, that's meaning, what I'm saying. Meaning we had to have a resume. Right. A, refer, a reference. Right. And like these day, these, these day and age, you don't need a resume. You don't. And I, you know what, and I don't, and, and I don't mind that because I feel like the kind of people I like to hire now are people with the attitude. Yes, we can't. You can't teach that. You can't teach that. Well, hey, and also it's because they like what we were talking about earlier. You know, the, all the people like in school, the ones that make like the A's and B's and all that right, jazz. You said that earlier. Yeah. What we were talking about, those people that have that attitude, you know, uh, you can't teach that shit. But it's because it's because they were meant for something greater. Yeah. And I'll tell you like this, I had a buddy. You know, I'm. Uh, I have a buddy who was talking to me about, you know, in law school, because uh, he goes, the ones that made all the A's, they usually turned into, like, uh, uh, judges or something like that, yeah. like something big in the, in the system. The ones that made B's usually turned into, like, professors that they were educating, you know, other people. And the one that made, like, C's and D's, they turned into millionaires. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, turn into millionaires. I, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gajillionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fabillionaire. <laughs> you ain't so, getting in the law so school with C's and D's. Right, right, yeah, I know, I know. ain't getting in the law school with C's and D's. I know, I, hey, yeah. but, hey, 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 in this, in this level, yes, I do have to make the better grades. I do, I do, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, like, even on what you were talking about, like, working yeah. with the ex experience for what you want to be paid, bro. We were work we worked a, a capital murder case that was on the news yeah. a few years ago. Wow. Okay? We work we worked a double sexual assault case on a family. Like I mean, these kind of cases are what you use to prepare yourself for that next level. But but all in all, uh yeah, no, I'm trying to do good in school right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I, you know wanted, I haven't been accepted to law school yet, but I will be soon. You're putting yourself in that position because you yeah. know you, you want to. Yes, sir. It's because yes. you want to go yes, back. Sir. Like when we yes. were kids, I was like, I don't want to do this. No, I and like, know. You know, like, I, I would rather go to like a trade school. And I, I wish we had something like that back when we were kids in public school. Like, you know, like some people, like I, I didn't learn how to write a check until I was like in uh, yeah. 11th grade. Bro, what if they taught a class on how to on how to learn your own Finance. plumbing. What about plumbing. your own plumbing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, man, I have I have a homeboy, Kyle, if you're watching. Uh, man, this man has provided for a family. He's gotten contracts for the city, all off plumbing. He has put he's put his people, the, the, the people that he's known for his whole life, he's right. put them in a position to succeed also. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, man, like I have nothing but pride and respect for my homie who was a, uh, a dropout of high school. You know, and he was yeah. able to stand up and go do something by this trade, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great, man. Uh, where was I? Hey, how about this? All right. Hey, uh, Tom, go ahead. What about within these restaurants? Tell me, what are some of the struggles and obstacles that you faced being in order to uh, stay afloat or stay a ahead of the curve? What are some of the obstacles that you've had to overcome? Um, you know, for me. Um, the last five years like, was like trying to find the right people to work with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm at a point right now. Like even when I'm, even when I want to open Hermes, like I don't have any partners. It's yeah. just me, myself, and I. And then I, I hire people to do the certain tasks I need them to do. Yeah. You know, I've, I've had people in the past, you know, that I was hoping to like partner up with, but uh, you know, it's like, um, you know, we all have to pull in our weight, right? Like, you know, I, I am a kind of person who is not good at opening, right? I've never opened a restaurant. Uh, you know, Hermes is going to be my first flagship. Yeah. 
and, you know, and I'm frightened, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I'm but frightened. good, and, good. Uh, and Fuck uh, yes. I'm sure yeah. David was frightened when he faced the Goliath, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 100%. And, uh, you know, I think about it every day. I think about it every day. And um, Is that not you know, the exact reason why you need to move forward with it? I mean, uh, it's for me. It's like I, I, I need, I need to move forward because this is what I'm meant for. Yeah, there you go. this is what I'm. This is what I there want to do. What, what I feel like I need to do, because like I said earlier, like you know, I want to be accountable for my own, for myself. Yeah. You know, for, like I want to see how far I've gotten, and see if if I'm worth. Exactly. If I'm, if I'm worth this, this, this uh, big project. Yeah. You know, I see a lot of kids today, you know, when they're in their twenties, you know, they open restaurants, but then years later they shut down. It's like, I don't want to be that person, you know? And I get, I get, I get scared. Like, you know, what if that was me, Yeah. you know? And you know, maybe the timing wasn't right for me. Like, you know, right. it, you know sometimes, you know, it's, it's it, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm 40 now. If you don't go through that and, hunger phase, that like that trial and error phase, yeah. I don't think you're destined for that next level of greatness. If you don't know what it's like to absolutely eat shit and die and still stand up. Yeah. I mean, what's going to, I mean, why are you going to appreciate the gold mine once you get it? Yeah. If you haven't you worked know? on something that you haven't absolutely put your face in the dirt for, fell face forward, yeah. contemplated whether or not you should do it or not, it's almost like you got to go through those ups and downs. Right. And then it's like, now you're prepared. Yeah. Now you're prepared. Once you've been able to sh show, you've tested your character on this. Right. You fell face first, you stood back yep. up on it, and guess what? Now you're hitting golden dinger yeah. home runs. Exactly. And you know, we've been I've been in this journey for about twenty five years now, cooking. And I'm finally at the point where it's like the, the where you know, the journey's still going. Mm -hmm. And I'm at the point where it's like the um, this is the, the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> it's to open a restaurant. Yeah, for sure. And and then, you know, I am the final boss because of you know, yourself. You're I'm, the I'm final myself. boss to you. To me, yeah. And, I love um, that. I love that. Yeah, love and that. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm I'm frightened, and but uh, you know, I have amazing people who's helping me. Uh, you know, like uh, the guy, I'm um, my buddy back in D.C. who now lives here, uh, Jeffrey Barrientos. If you're hearing this, I love you, man. Um, you know, he's going to be my okay. psalm, um, my psalm for Hermes, and then uh, my buddy Bam Garcia is going to help me open uh, as a sous chef. Uh, he's he worked at uh, he worked at Alinea for five years. And you know, and I just have a bunch of friends here, like people like you guys who are supporting me. Uh, yeah. You know, and uh, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm just like uh, really ecstatic that uh, that I met I met the right people here in Houston. Well, they, they, this is an, it's a nod back to you too, bro, for uh, taking on that challenge, right? Yeah. Like I feel like especially men, right, and and women as well. But we achieve more the more responsibility we have. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. especially, and I can reflect on my own life, like, the more I have, the more responsibility I have taken on, yeah. the more it makes me want to achieve. Yeah, you know, I, I see these millionaires, I see these, I see these guys who are opening, like, opening, like, more, like, 20, like, 5, 10 restaurants, but they're all fucking killing it, man. Yeah. You know, this is one yeah. guy uh, that I like in New York. Uh, he has a restaurant called Coats, C-O-T-E, um, Simon Kim, and like uh, he opened code, I think back in 2017, and this restaurant won every accolade you could think of. And he just opened uh, a coat in Miami, a coat in Singapore, and under yeah. coat and like a Coca Doc, which is like his uh, fried chicken, high end fried Korean fried chicken spot. And it's it, he's just blowing up, man. And, like Buster Rhymes came to his soft opening, mm. and like it, it, I was like watching Buster his Rhymes videos. coming to post. I know. I saw that, but you know, but when I see when I think of success, I think of him. Yeah, I think of this guy. Absolutely, absolutely. you know, he he can tell by his energy, like the way he his demeanor is. He's just like, yeah, I, like I did this, I did this with the with the right people. You know, I, I did this with, with the right leadership. Taking uh, it back to something I wanted to touch on more, you yeah. had expanded on. He's saying take the right people. So, uh, what was it about the team? How about building the team? You were asking earlier. Asked, he had asked the question. Y yes, uh, according to my notes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Take shooting, your time. Take hey, your time, guys. I'm shooting, <laughs> hey, I'm shooting for A's this semester, no, no, all right? No, 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 I'm no, shooting no. for A's you, this you, semester. You, I, 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 I had to, uh, before we lost track on a, on something he had said, you had asked I was the question talking about, about what sort of team do you have around you and yeah. how is that able to help and to your success? Exactly you know, I think uh, in, far, in terms of team, I like like the people I mentioned earlier, Jeffrey and Bam, um, yep. and then you know I, I have people like like Paul and Johnny, uh, you know people at posts Good like dudes. you guys. Good dudes. 
Um, you know, I have my friends. Uh, I have PACC. Um, you know, they're a Filipino organization here locally here in Houston. What was like, the name of it? Uh, PACC. Um, you know, they've, they've helped me, like, um, like meet the right people, you know, right network. And, uh, you know, I have them to thank. Um, you know, Anthony Guevara is one guy. Like, you know, he's like, they call him the, the mayor of Houston. He's a Filipino guy. And he introduced me to every fo important Filipino person here yeah. in Houston. And, you know, also, like, he, he also uh, introduced me to a guy named Robin. Uh, Ro I love Ro. Yeah, Ro. Yeah, he, uh, you know, he has uh, the Chelsea, has the um, um, the conservatory and the Galleria. Galleria just opened. Just opened. Amazing yep. food hall. Amazing, amazing. It looks beautiful, yeah, bro. It's Plus, gorgeous. the Galleria doesn't have something like that. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm so proud of them. Even, like, representing Post. Like, yo, that's this is the kind of movement Houston needs. Yeah, 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 we you're right. We all got to, it's all of our jobs to elevate Houston. Yeah. Bro, and what's good for this part of the city or that part of the city is good for the city. Yeah. Hey, like, hey, and also with that, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsors, H Town Happy Hour. Hey, yeah, Soy Pinoy. Soy Pinoy. Hey, and also this is our uh, custom winning water. And so we're all going to take our uh, right here. And Topo Chico. Topo Chico. Thank you, Topo Chico. Topo Chico. Thank you. Especially yeah, Topo Chico. Sponsor us, Houston. please. Sponsor us. Well, they already sponsor <laughs> us hey, in our market. Hey, they come to our market. They already sponsor us in our market. market. So make yeah. sure to give Topo a good shout out because they sponsor our market. Hello, all hey. y'all, hey. man. Speaking of markets, March 2nd, this March Saturday. March 2nd, this Saturday. Hey, actually, this it's Saturday. about to go the fuck down. I want to, I want. let me take a Talk moment. Talk your shit, bro. Hey, bro. So so March 2nd here. At Post Houston, guys. Yeah, let's take these shots first. <laughs> Some Delicious. good shots. Yeah. Uh, March second, coffee and cars. Biggest car show, number one car show in the all, all. Yeah, bro. It's it amazing. The house, dog. Awesome. It's incredible, and he he always has the dopest line. That's Abe. Shout out Abe. He always has the dopest line out of cars. Like his ability to coordinate that event is incredible, and we're so glad to have it here. So we got coffee and cars, black swan yoga. We get hundreds of yogis. Great eye candy. Yes. I, I've, I've seen. Yes. I love yeah. yoga pants for the ladies. Uh. <laughs> Saturday <laughs> yoga day is my favorite this is Saturday favorite. First of Saturday the month. of the month. Yes. It's my first Saturday yes. of the month. Yeah. Okay. So yoga, coffee and cars, Red Bull, dance your style. So literally... Uh, last year, we, we as Post hosted the uh, Red Bull Dancer style, yada, yada, yada. It was like free tryouts. Anyone could come try out. This year, because the turnout was so big last year, there's going to be performances by some professional kind of dance teams. And as well as all the like Texas qualifiers oh, yeah. are coming here. That's awesome. In the X-Atrium to uh, kind of perform and compete to get in the overall kind of uh, Red Bull dance team. First shots, join the Red Bull dance team. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, the most important to me. Da, 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 it's the H-Town motherfucking market, bro. Come on now, baby. You know what time Hundreds it is. Hundreds of vendors. The yeah. number uh, one event in the entire city, H-Town Market. <laughs> doing it big at Post Houston, man. Yep. Hundreds so, and thousands. I bought these rings. Yeah. Yeah, see? Hey, it's a diverse, it's a platform with a diverse entrepreneurial. The spirit has been able to flourish. Yeah. It's a uh, ecosystem it's where of success. shoppers can come support local businesses. That's awesome. Like, it's, 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, yes. hey, uh, Tom. Yes. <laughs> we need to know some golden nuggets. Yeah. Would you tell us some golden nuggets about what the hell is golden nugget? Golden nuggets. Besides nu golden nuggets. Okay, okay. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, hit me out, hit me out. Yeah, you get it, get it, yeah. I'm still nervous. Golden Nuggets. Yeah. What we want to know are what are some winning pieces of it? Uh, you know, hey, hey, hey. What are some winning pieces of advice that you would give to somebody? that was wanting to follow these kind of footsteps? Or to yourself when you um, were 16, 17? I would say to my younger 10 year old, a, a ten, uh, I would say to my younger self, uh, don't beat yourself, don't beat yourself up. Damn, okay. You know, yeah. I feel like, you know, the kind of person I was 10 years ago was like, I just wanted to, I had so much drive and then when, when, I, when I made mistakes, I would you always, hard. I was hard on myself, mm. hard, because my chefs were hard on me. Do you think that being hard on yourself curated who you are today i think the fact that i was hard on myself 10 years ago gave me a lot of anxiety uh, 
<laughs> unnecessary that's anxiety. Good. Yeah, but you know, but like it's like good and bad balance. It's, it's a good and bad balance. Tom, and like Tom, um, Tom, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I love you. I'm gonna have to disagree. In okay, fact tell that me. He causes anxiety. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna lash myself. Okay. I deserve to be hard on myself, bro. That is why I am gonna say, contrary to a popular belief, yeah. that is why you became who you are. No, it's because you yeah. were so fucking hard on yourself, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, yeah. beat myself up more than anyone else. You wanna give me a hard time, bro? You wanna give me a hard time? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna give myself ten times harder. Yeah. Like. I don't know. I, I feel like the reason why I say that because people around me got affected. Ah, you know, it, it, ah, it affected my ah. relationships. It so affected yeah, my yeah, friends. Yeah, well, I'm not good at relationships. So. Uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, I, I'm like I said, I'm, I met some incredible people. You know, yeah. and ten years ago yeah. is when I opened the restaurant that made me who I am today. Bad Saints. Bad Saints. Yeah. And you know, I was going through a lot with yeah. uh, losing my mom. Yeah, for sure. And. Uh, you know, and I was just like blaming myself, like saying to myself, like you know, you know, the reason why, uh, you know, I, I, I wish I had a better relationship with my mom. I wish if my mom was alive today, you know, like uh, ten years ago, like you know, um, if she if she would have like won cancer, and she could have seen me like in my kitchen. Yeah directing my staff the right way, giving them the right lesson, the right principles. And my, and my mom was sitting at table 12, looking right at me and nodding her head like this. Wow. Um, that's that, uh, that proud moment, she you know, that there, trophy bro. that you she want in your, in your, on your, on your mental that's shelf. That's a real trophy. You know, and like, I never had that. I never got that. Yeah. You know, but my mom, my, my brothers, my fathers, they, they, they got to see it. And they were so, you know, and they're, they're so proud of me. So it was a gift that you almost didn't get to see it. Yeah. It was a yeah. gift that you almost didn't get to see yeah. it. Challenge accepted, bro. Yeah, man. It's so, like it's a chip uh, on your shoulder we talked about. Yeah. You know, like, um, so, like, I, I always th thought about that every night at a bar. And just, like, you know, if my mom, you know, what if, what if I was a... Uh, you know, I was just beating myself up. You know, it's my fault that my mom had cancer. Or, you know, oh. it's like, you know, when, when you're like, you, you know, like. It's like, unrealistic. Know, I wasn't there it's for unrealistic. her. It's yeah, unrealistic. It's unrealistic. This, this is some stuff that, that I spoke to my therapy, yeah. you know. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Uh, but, you know, I, you know, you still think about it. You know, yeah, you're, you're, I'm, you know I'm only human. And I, I, and like, I really cared about my mom, really cared about my family. And right. like, they were there to support me every way. Uh, but my mom was just like that one person that I wish that was alive today. Yeah. Who could have, who could have seen really my see. success? Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's deep. That's yeah, serious, yeah. and that's real. It's real. You know, honestly, I mean, it's it's hard to it's hard to swallow it, but you know, I'm a, everything I'm, happens for a reason yeah. on that side. Yeah, man. And and the the road that you took, also with not not really receiving the quote unquote approval that you felt like you have been able to acquire now. Right. It was a driving force. And, and, and that's what's funny about life. The more and more you go up, the more and more you realize, oh, wow, all of this is in sync with why I am and where I am yeah. and who I am yep. right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, bro. You know, you know the worst lesson my mom ever taught me? Yeah, tell us. It was like, uh, I think I was 19 and I didn't have a car yet. I was a bum living at home. I'm, you know, 19 years old. And um, I needed money for the bus. <laughs> And I asked my mom for five dollars. You know, you know what my mom did? What? She went to her. She went into her room, took out five bucks out of her purse, balled it up in her in her one on, on, in her right uh, right hand, balled up and fisted, fisted the right uh, the ten dollar bill and threw it at my face like I was a <laughs> like I was a prostitute. You <laughs> scrub. Yeah, I was a scrub. <laughs> and that was and, and she was like and then she was cursing at me and and Tagalog, you know, like probably you're, one of the you're, best things she could have done. Yeah, he's like you're a bum, like uh, like you're you're 19 years old and you, you don't you don't have any money, yada yada yada. And that was the last time I ever asked money for my parents. Yeah. How powerful is that? Yeah, I mean, so you think about that. But don't try to. <laughs> but you know, I don't. I don't do that in my kitchen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Take a shame of yourself. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, no. But, but the lesson it, is different. But it was necessary, it's, it's similar, dog. It's almost similar, but different. It was. Yeah. Let me let me say something, bro. Yeah. Like, this is gonna sound insane until I kind of elaborate on it. Losing my father when I was young and like hadn't found myself. Was and it's gonna sound the same, bro. 
the best thing that could have ever happened to me, dog. I agree. Like, I it, agree with you. It, it made it me, me times yeah, 100. Grow, me, grow the fuck up. Yeah. Become a yeah. man, Become Derek. A man. Now is the fucking yeah. time. And your mom is telling you, be a fucking yeah. man. But the dad's yeah. like, yeah, your mom is right. <laughs> and it, it made me realize all the shit my dad used to teach me yeah. when I was young, bro, that I never, I always heard, but I never listened. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And we were talking about that earlier, like when you're, you're yelling at people as a chef, yada, yada, yada. Like, they're not listening. Yeah. I always heard, but I never listened. Right. And and then when my dad died and, like, the emotions died down yeah. and everything calmed and, like, people stopped apologizing about what happened, right. I started to think and, like, fuck, my dad was teaching me this lesson, this mm -hmm. lesson. And then, like, every day that would pass by. Like, I would realize shit my dad was teaching me. And I was just like, fuck, dude. Like, and, now, and now you live in those lessons. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I live hey. in them, and I feed off of them, yeah. and I fucking succeed. And then you try to tell people yeah. about the same lessons, but they're like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, so, 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 hey, hey, gentlemen, on yep. the same uh, conversation right here, what I would like to ask as a, uh, as a, a, a Sponsor of the event. <laughs> <laughs> no, Check off 3,000. No. <laughs> <laughs> Green Real digger rug. on Monday. What, what, Monday. Uh, hey, what yeah, is no. today? Real rug and rugged? Real raw and rugged. H-Town <laughs> happy hour. All right, hey, all right, all right. Back to business, back to business. down and dirty. <laughs> Grave digger Monday, Monday. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Man, it's water. It's, right. Yeah, it's water. It's, 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 it's winning water, guys. All right, all right, all right. As, a, as, as one of the final touches on top, I want to know. I'll touch you on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless it, Derek. No, you won't. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, we can wait out there. Yeah, this is over. Gentlemen, don't, gentlemen, don't, gentlemen, don't, we're on top of the city right now. We are on you top of the city. You, no, you see this? Hey, you hey. see this? Look at this. I'm clocking out. The best view in Houston right here. Right here. Hey, no, 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 no. What are some of the things that's been said to you over the f past couple of years that have really stuck out to you? What are some of the things that have been said to you that have been able to make an impact in your life? Some some wise wisdom, golden nuggets, if you will. Don't run away from it just because it hurts. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's and good. Uh, I feel like that that goes with like anyone's like anybody who has uh, anxiety, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I feel like you got to just put your foot down and just face the music. Feel it. Feel it. It and hurts. Like, try, feel it. Yeah, but, but try to find. Positivity through it. Try to find the silver lining. Yes. The silver lining yes. uh, from the clouds and uh, finding that light at the end of the tunnel. Hey, Amen. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey, I like that. You know what? And honestly, I feel like that's what that's what it is an issue yeah. with some of the younger generation. If it if it is challenging or uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Or if it is a uh, well, you know, uh, like, the, like the benefits. If it's inconvenience, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the slightest inconvenience, they yeah. give the fuck up. Yeah, like the, like the benefits will out will outweigh the risk eventually, right. you know. And uh, and I think people are forgetting that that's how you learn in yep. life. Yep, yep. That's part of learning. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, people forget that anxiety. We don't. I always blame anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. But like, it's like it's not anxiety. It's, it's like, are, are you afraid to learn? Yeah. Yeah. Are you afraid to like, Seriously. like you know? Because I, I I say that I'm not afraid, and that's and it's, and it's, it's yeah. my motivation. It's my motivation. To Everybody keep gets forward. the butterflies, homie. You know, it's yeah. about making your butterflies fly in formation. Yeah. Whether you're a fucking boxer, whether you're a fucking podcaster, whatever whether arena, you're a chef, whatever arena. When you get nervous, when you get fucking anxiety, that they, d d dude, that is when you perform. Like you addressing that anxiety yeah. is 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 how you succeed, how you exceed. Yeah. You know, achieving a goal is to see significant progress. Yeah. And uh, you know, and you can't be afraid to you know, to move forward. For sure. Uh, you know. And that's that's like my also part of like my principles and moving you know, like like that I take. Uh, every single day is like you know I'm, I'm always trying to find a ways how, how can I make my day w worth it yeah you know well you know yeah. what you know like, what hey, I'm, I'm past the whole like hey 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 Tom I want to tell you I have uh narrative days of the week yeah okay so if you're ever trying to find out uh you know if you're if you're the people that are working with you 
are ever uh, feeling lack of motivation or anything like that. All right, I know I, I'm the one. I have the notebook out here, but but yeah. I want to tell you, Monday, he ain't taking notes. <laughs> He is wink hey, wink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm making straight A's in this uh, this semester of school. All right? <laughs> yes. no, 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 no. But um, power move Monday. Yeah, is what Monday is. Power move Monday. Yeah, yeah. Power Don't move give Monday. me your fucking Monday muggy bullshit. Exactly. It's power move Monday. Exactly. Tuesday is tear it up Tuesday. Yeah. Get yeah, out yeah. here and kick some motherfucking yeah. ass. Quit acting like a panoch. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, the, what the hell's a Pinoch? Yeah. Are you, uh, Evan, are you, are you, is Illuminati. Evan, uh, <laughs> Evan, I want to know, like, like, what's your, are you, are you Italian? Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, hey, I'm from Jersey. Hey, 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 I like to call it an eclectic blend, my I friend. Love it. Hey, I love you know it. Seattle. That's what I'm saying. No, <laughs> no, hey, hey, I'm from the southeast hey, side of Houston, baby. Hey, that's I'm right. I'm from the southeast side of Houston, that's right, right. right by the water. What you? Where are you from? Everywhere. Yeah, all right. So I'm from H-Town, Texas, baby. That's right. You know what I'm talking about? So, hey, I, w I was born right here <laughs> in the flesh, lived in Seattle for a little bit, but my dad was a Yankee. You know what I'm saying? They were from New Hampshire, yep. grandparents from New York and everything. So I have a blend of uh, 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 Northeast, down here in the southeast and also the northwest, so it's an eclectic blend of That's all awesome. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I no, can no, feel no, no. everything in, in this. I, I can feel your. That's what your I'm energy. saying. It's real. It's authentic, yeah. my friend. The, the it's real. Is coming out. Yeah. Me, me gente. Yo, let me take a moment. Let me take a moment real quick, take, guys. Take your moment, bro. And 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 no, don't, don't. Oh, don't take it. We have more. We have more. We have more. No, I wanna. Uh, I wanna. I wanna dedicate this shot to uh, Tom, your mother, bro. For installing the wisdom, and, your dad too. and and thank yeah. you, sir, and 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 gifting you with that cookbook, and yeah. tra she traveled the world and took notes, yeah. and the, the 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 objective for that was not known when she did it, but she attached. It was for it. the next generation, yeah. bro. She bro. she's on me like glue, man. You know. Salute, brothers. Thank you, brother. Cheers, and guys. To your dad too, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I cried uh, like a baby at his dad's funeral. He did. Oh I gosh. didn't even cry. He cried. I. You know what? I. I, I didn't cry. My mom's funeral. You can't, funeral. dude. You got to be a fucking rock. It's like you it's know, like you don't know how to feel. You don't know how to feel. Yeah. You know, like it's the kind of thing you think about when you're at a funeral. It's like when you look at so um, a dead person in a casket. Oh God. You know, you look at it, and you know, you look at the, you, you, you look at the body, and it doesn't look like your mom. No. It looks like a it looks like a hollow shell. It's a soulless being. Exactly. And that's But it was the being that used to have a soul. Yeah. Well and you can't uh, help yeah. but remember philosophical that. Yeah. ideology say that. But honestly, that's what it goes to show the soul. Yeah. So, it, 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 that that is the that's the essence hey, that's left hey, behind. Bro, hey, bro, it's the soul. Me, we, we you, you know, you you know what I what I value more but, than than but. seeing her in that in that coffin? But the photo of, 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 that I have of her in my house Damn. when she's smiling yeah. and she looks healthy, yeah. young, healthy. Like, not not young, like she's like in her fifties, like you but know. But she looked healthy. She looked healthy. She looked she looked happy. Like this is this was her before her cancer, and I keep that photo in my kitchen. Wow. So when I look at it, she's got this. My mom has this like, you know, she's like a Filipino mom. You know, she looks kind of Latina, Chinese. And she's got this like happy like cheeky smile it's pure isn't it it's pure man and you know uh, that photo i will i will cherish you know, cherish. I, I value more yeah. than than, than, than her, all the her, restaurants her. any of the restaurants yeah man and then and, and, but when i saw her at the funeral i was like this isn't my mom anymore it's not and this is why I didn't, it's a hard I didn't moment cry, that's the a hard moment you know? the essence of her soul was left behind yeah, man. and that and that's the driving force behind you man yeah. and you know what? it's funny man we all have a soul and you know what it's uh it's that it's that aspect and that essence that should really be able to teach lessons. And that's what I feel like uh, eternal life actually kind of looks like. It's the soul, the yeah. essence that's left behind yeah, yeah, yeah. that learns that other people can learn lessons from and that you. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, I get it. I get let it, me man. ask you this. Tom, how can they find you on the Internet? If they're watching Tom on IG or what? Yep. Or Soy Panoy or Hermes? Tell us about you it. You can find me on uh, on IG. Uh, my IG uh, name is Tom C. Kunanen, my last name. That or or C-U-N-A-N-E-N. -E or just type in Tom C.C. And I'm obviously the first one that pops up because uh, 
I'm a big deal here in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are. Talk, you are, bro. Talk your happen. shit, bro. It's gonna Talk happen. your shit, you know, bro. All I want to do here is cook great food. Yeah. And meet the meet great people and, and, and give uh, have, give the girls the meat. Yeah. <laughs> like the the hey, sword for night. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the honey the honey shrimp. The honey shrimp. The, 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 yeah. the shrimp. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I can tell you it's not a shrimp. Uh, you know, but it, it, it does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the filet mignon, baby. Hey. <laughs> No, but um, you know, it's a, you can find me at Soy Pinoy. Yes. Oh, you can find me at on I, Soy Pinoy. Instagram. S O Y P I N O Y. Yep. And hey. then, what's this new restaurant? How do we find and you on then Hermes? Hermes will be opening hopefully in a few months. Crossing fingers. Um, yeah. You know. Um, what's that down? Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. All right. Hey, you know, hey, just, hey, just, hey, just, um, stay just follow, tuned. Yeah, stay tuned and follow also the Hermes uh, IG account. Hey, and it's, in the meantime, you can find him here at Post. Yeah. Mm. Yep. There you go. Come talk to him. He's yeah. up there every day, whether you're playing cashier, yep. head chef. He's yeah. up there putting in the fucking work. I am. All the time. Dude, Tom, thank yep. you so hey. much for coming on today. Of course. Thank you for having me, guys. Hey, Tom, hey, hey, it was a lot of fun. This hey, it was fun. wonderful speaking with you, my friend. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, absolutely yeah, wonderful. Was yeah, let's do this again. Dude. We yeah. got to learn a lot about you, man, and I hope. Yeah. Uh, and I also, got to learn a lot, a lot about you guys. You did. Hey, yeah, let did. me ask you this you one did. thing. How do you how do you feel breaking in the uh, the background for our new uh, podcast? How do you feel breaking in? Because this this is insane, bro. What, what do you this want me to do? Jump out the damn? What the fuck? <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> uh, it's time. It's time. <laughs> hey, come on now, man. Hey, that's a wrap. Right, man. Right, that's right. It, I'll, I'll follow through. Hey, right, man, right. come on hey, now. Man. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> That was great, bro. Yeah. That was awesome, man. Yeah, that was